It's Tuesday morning. Welcome to morning prayer. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love, according to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 44 We have heard with our ears, O God, our forebears have told us, all that you did in their days, in times of old, how with your hand you drove out nations and planted us in, and broke the power of peoples and set us free. For not by their own sword did our ancestors take the land, nor did their own arm save them. But your right hand, your arm and the light of your countenance, because you were gracious to them. You are my King and my God, who commanded salvation for Jacob. Through you we drove back our adversaries, through your name we trod down our foes. For I did not trust in my bow, it was not my own sword that saved me. It was you that saved us from our enemies and put our adversaries to shame. We gloried in God all the day long and were ever praising your name. But now you have rejected us and brought us to shame and go not out with our armies. You have made us turn our backs on our enemies and our enemies have despoiled us. You have made us like sheep to be slaughtered and have scattered us among the nations. You have sold your people for a pittance and made no profit on their sale. You have made us the taunt of our neighbours, the scorn and derision of those that are round about us. You have made us a byword among the nations, among the peoples they wag their heads. My confusion is daily before me, and shame has covered my face. At the taunts of the slanderer and reviler, at the sight of the enemy and avenger. All this has come upon us, though we have not forgotten you, and have not played false to your covenant. Our hearts have not turned back nor our steps gone out of your way. Yet you have crushed us in the haunt of jackals and covered us with the shadow of death. If we have forgotten the name of our God or stretched out our hand to any strange God, will God not search it out, for he knows the secrets of the heart. But for your sake, we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep to the slaughter. Rise up, why sleep, O Lord? Awake and do not reject us forever. Why do you hide your face and forget our grief and oppression? Our soul is bowed down to the dust, our belly cleaves to the earth. Rise up, O Lord, to help us and redeem us for the sake of your steadfast love. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The canticle is a song of the rock. The word is very near to you. It is in your mouth and in your heart for you to observe. Give ear, O heavens, and I will speak, and let the earth hear the words of my mouth. May my teaching drop as the rain, my speech distill as the dew, as the gentle rain on the grass, and as the showers upon the meadow. For I will proclaim the name of the Lord, ascribe greatness to our God. The rock, his work is perfect, for all his ways are just. A faithful God without deceit, just and upright is he. His degenerate children have dealt corruptly with him, a perverse and crooked generation. Do you thus repay the Lord, you foolish, senseless people? Is not he your father who created you and made you and established you? 
Remember the days of old, consider the years long past. Ask your father and he will show you, your elders and they will tell you. When the Most High gave the nations their inheritance, when he divided the children of earth, he fixed the bounds of the peoples according to the number of the children of God. For the Lord's own portion is his people, Jacob his allotted heritage. He sustained him in a desert land, in the howling waste of the wilderness. He shielded him and cared for him. He kept him as the apple of his eye. As an eagle stirs up his nest and hovers over its young, spreading out its wings, take them, takes them and bears them aloft in its pinions. So the Lord alone did guide him, and no foreign god was with him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The word is very near to you. It is in your mouth and in your heart for you to observe. The reading today is from Galatians chapter 4, beginning at verse 8. Formerly, when you did not know God, you were enslaved to beings that by nature are not gods. Now, however, that you have come to know God, or rather to be known by God, how can you turn back again to the weak and beggarly elemental spirits? How can you want to be enslaved to them again? You are observing special days and months and seasons and years. I am afraid that my work for you may have been wasted. Friends, I beg you, become as I am. For I have also become as you are. You have done me no wrong. You know that it was because of a physical infirmity that I first announced the gospel to you. Though my condition put you to the test, you did not scorn or despise me, but welcomed me as an angel of God, as Christ Jesus. What has become of the goodwill you felt? For I testify that, had it been possible, you would have torn out your eyes and given them to me. Have I now become your enemy by telling you the truth? They make much of you, but for no good purpose. They want to exclude you, so that you may make much of them. It is good to be made much of for a good purpose at all times, and not only when I am present with you. My little children, for whom I am again in the pain of childbirth until Christ is formed in you, I wish I were present with you now and could change my tone, for I am perplexed about you. Here ends the reading. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. You are the God of my salvation. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I hope all the day long. O my God, in you I trust. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. The Benedictus. I will give you shepherds after my own heart, who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever. Amen. 
I will give you shepherds after my own heart who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. And so we pray. Almighty God, we pray this morning for those who are sick in body, mind or spirit. Father, we pray for our NHS, we pray for our hospitals, for our local GP surgeries and for all those who work in the community. Almighty God, we pray for those who today will receive life-changing diagnoses. And we pray especially for those for whom today will be their last. Father, we pray for those who are in the midst of famine or natural disaster. We pray for the victims of abuse and violence, for intolerance, prejudice and racism. We pray for those who are fleeing war and we pray for refugees. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Trusting in the compassion of God, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forget, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>